It's always a good way to end Sunday nights when you get to take a look at the best athletes in the state. And we're talking about the great plays that they made last week in the postseason football and the beginning of the basketball season. So let's begin with number five. It was semifinal week for football in 11 AA. Mandan taking on Shanley. Max Carlson has time in the pocket and he finds Tyree Frank along the sideline and he makes a great one handed catch, the senior there but the Braves would fall 38 to 27. Number four, it's Velva Drake Animus Garrison taking on Hillsborough Central Valley, a trip to the Dakota Bowl on the line. Peyton Bodine looking left, he changes his mind and directions and goes the opposite direction, and he takes it in for the touchdown, helping seal the deal for the Aggies, and they win 20 to 12, and they're heading back to Fargo for the first time since 2010. Number three, it's a nine-man football this time, New Salem Almont looking to get to Fargo also. The whole scene's down, but a key play by their defense, Trenton Klatt, comes up with a big interception here, and that would lead to the New Salem score, and the whole scene's win 30 to 26. Number two, it's been the underdog story this postseason in football. It's the Century Patriots taking on Fargo Davies. Cayenne Barth with a QB sneak pulls the Houdini somehow and escapes that massive pile, and he takes it to the house for the 40 yard touchdown. Patriots are heading back to the Dakota Bowl for the eighth time in program history. And my top play of the week, we head inside to the Harwood. It's the Buster Gillis Tournament in Newtown. Williston State's men's team, Deton's driving, missed the layup, but Moses Gordon with the putback slam. He makes me excited that basketball season is back, earning my top play of the week.